Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. I have received a lot of requests to create one video on uh, Oracle GL mass allocation process. So I have decided to create one complete end-to-end -end video on mass allocation process. How it happens and how to create mass allocation journal, what are the prerequisites and uh, what are the business purpose of uh, allocating uh, expenses to different uh, department and cost centers okay so before starting please guys request you to subscribe my channel and share my videos to other oracle aspirants who are uh, new to oracles and fusion technology so guys let us start so guys what is mass allocation process right? before uh, starting the configuration let us uh, let us understand the concept of mass allocation okay so here uh, we are the steps i have uh, mentioned here okay to create mass allocation journal uh, how we can uh, go ahead step by step okay. so this is the scenario okay so let us understand the concept so any organization who incurs any expenditures so if they want to allocate these expenditures to different department or different, different cost centers, this is the normal process of uh, accounting. Okay, so They cannot dump, suppose uh, you got some electricity bill or water bill for, the, for your entire organization and uh, it's not uh, a very good practice to just dump this expenditure to one particular department or cost center. So the normal practice, regular practice is to distribute or allocate these expenses to different department based on certain criteria. So that is called mass allocation. Okay. So in Oracle, they have provided uh, the mass allocation manager or calculation manager, allocation widget. And using this tool, you can create rules to automate this process. Okay, suppose we have uh, hundreds of departments, hundreds of officers, cost centers. So it's not uh, easily, uh, it's not an easy thing to allocate these expenditures manually. So Oracle has provided this mass allocation tool to create formulas, to create rules, to allocate these expenditures based on certain criteria. For example, here you can see uh, office rent or office equipment rental. Okay, so this is one expenditure. So we are uh, booking these expenditures on a particular department and cost centers. But latter point of time, using this calculation manager, the requirement is to allocate to all the departments based on based on certain criteria. And this criteria is headcount. Headcount means based on the department's employee count okay so based on the employee of uh, each department we will allocate the percentage of uh, these expenditures this office equipment rental expenditures to each of the department so that is the business purpose of mass allocation okay so this is the department okay this is the global support department 210 okay and uh, usually in the initial stage we will create one journal and uh, this journal will be created we will book the expenditures this office equipment expenditures into this particular department but later using this uh, calculation manager we will distribute or allocate these expenses to different departments Okay, so let us understand the step by step process. Decide the first step is decide the allocation strategy and what need to be allocated. Okay, what expenditures you want to allocate and to which department you want to allocate, which account, which amount you want to allocate. There can be a lot of operating expenditures like uh, water, rent, electricity, and uh, official rent, equipment rent. So maintenance, parking, and housekeeping. 
So all these operating expenses usually want to allocate. So that you need to decide. So in this scenario, we have decided that we want to allocate this office equipment render, okay, to uh, to different department and sources. Sources means uh, what is your source journal? Our your source journal is this uh, account, and this account is the source which we want to which we want to allocate. And range of allocation, so that we have going to decide. Range of allocation we have to decide. Okay, how many cost centers? How many department you want to across which you want to allocate these expenditures? So that we have to decide. Okay, and behind accounting hierarchy. So as we are uh, allocating the expenditures uh, across different department. We have to create an accounting hierarchy with one parent values and this department. And this department. So we have to, uh, for example, for this parent value under this parent value 200, you can see there are a lot of child departments are available. So this is called accounting tree. Okay. So under this cost uh, center tree, we have these many departments. And which we want to allocate these expenditures. Okay. And uh, the next important thing is basis. On what basis we want to allocate? Okay. The basis here is head count. So number of based on number of employee of each of this department, each of this department, we have to allocate these expenditures. So this is the basis. So to formulate this basis, we have to create one star journal. So that we'll see. And then point of view, define allocation rules, save and validate after creating the allocation rule, we have to save, validate and deploy the rules. So once the allocation rule is successfully deployed, you can create a generate the GL allocations. Then it will create one uh, automatic journal and allocate this uh, expenses. Then you can query the allocation journal and review if it is properly created. So let us start, let us go to system. So let us uh, us complete all the prerequisites. So the source transactions create journal with source account to allocate. So we should have an account, source account like this uh, office equipment rental. The balance should exist for this account to allocate. So let us go and create this journal first. So go to generate general accounting. Create one journal. So I will create one journal with further maintenance to book this uh, office maintenance expenditures or office uh, equipment expenditures, uh, which will be my source for allocation. Creating one manual journal. This is I'm creating for US primary journal. So these all these things are very important. Just creating while creating the journal, just take care of all these dimensions, multiple multi-dimensional uh, uh, cube because the allocation you will allocation tool will use this multi-dimensional queue. So company code is one of the dimensions. So we are creating this uh, entry for company 101, 
line of business will be one zero. Account will be this office rent account, right? Cost centers. So we are booking this expenditures to a particular cost centers now. Just dumping this expenditures to one particular cost centers, and later we will allocate this to all these departments. So cost center 210, we are uh, booking this expenditure, product and intercompany will be 0. Okay. So 1 lakh. Suppose the monthly expenditure for this June month, it is 1 lakh. And we are crediting the cash account. So we are booking this expenditure and uh, post this entry. Each of this currency is one of the dimensions. So we are uh, booking this journal in USD currency for company 101. And uh, the period dimension is uh, June, accounting period is June, and balance type is actual. So take care of all these, uh, please observe all these dimensions because we want to use this, all these dimensions in our allocation. Post it. So now we can see the this journal is posted now. So that means our source journal is created. Okay. Source journal is created for office uh, equipment maintenance. So what is the next step? So our next step is so we have completed these three steps. Range of allocation. Okay. So range of allocation means you have to decide your cost centers. So these are our cost centers. This is the parent value of cost centers and these are the child values. So how to create this range, we have to build and publish one accounting hierarchy for cost centers. So let us see, I have already built one, published one accounting hierarchy for cost center. Just check that. We'll go to setup and maintenance, manage accounting. So manage accounting hierarchy. Okay. If you go to manage accounting hierarchy, just check for the cost center accounting tree. You know how the hierarchy will work. So you can see here in accounting uh, hierarchy for all of the segments you can see the accounting tree and versions. So I am using the corporate cost centers, all corporate cost centers and uh, under this you can see lot of versions, lot of accounting tree versions are there but most of these are end dated. So what I did, I created a new version 6 for the same cost centers and uh, if I open this, so under this cost center there are lot of parent values and under the global support, the support is one of the parent cost centers and that is 200. So under 200, we have lot of child cost centers and uh, I want to allocate my expenditures across these cost centers. Okay. So this is the accounting hierarchy I have created and published. 
So once you create, you can either use the existing one, just make sure that it is correctly audited and published and this three version should be active. Okay. So this uh, accounting hierarchy I have created for these cost centers and have published. So how you can publish? Once you create this, audit the first thing or you can do it. So what you can do, you can activate the tree. You can activate the cost center tree. So once you activate, it will act to online, it will ask for online auditing. So once online audit is complete successfully, the next step is to publish the hierarchy. So you can see my tree is active. And to publish the hierarchy, what you can do? Go to publish accounting hierarchy. Whatever new cost center tree or version you create, mandatorily you have to publish it. Otherwise, it will not show in the allocation rule. During the allo allocation rule creation, it will ask for the tree version you create. So, US chart of account, okay? For this US chart of account, which hierarchy you want to publish? So all corporate cost center and hierarchy version is version 6. So just search for it and uh, then you can select the version and publish. Okay. So I have already published, you can see here. So once you publish successfully, then your accounting hierarchy is created. And along with that, we have completed the range of allocation. Okay, so range of allocation is nothing but your published accounting hierarchy. Okay. And uh, the next step is basis of allocations. How we are going to allocate this expenditures. And that is based on uh, headcount of each department. And to book the headcount, we have to book a start journal to decide and calculate the allocations. So we have to create one start journal. So go to system. We have to create one start journal. So I have created the start journal already and uh, I want to show you. Start per expenses allocation. Okay. So this journal I have created and this is you can see here. So for creating the start journal, the currency should be statistical or start. And for start journal, we don't need a debit or credit, it should not be balanced. So start journal should be created. Basically all the debit with all the debit balance. And what I did, I have booked the headcount of each department. That means for department two to one. We have 500 employee, department 2 to 2, we have 300 employee, and so on. So I have booked the headcount of each of the department, which will be my basis of allocation. Okay. And once you create this journal, post it. So once the journal is posted, then uh, you are good to allocate expenditures based on this start journal. Create this allocation rule. So I have defined all my prerequisites and uh, now I am going to create my allocation rule. And to create the allocation rule, I will create another video and this will be the part two of this uh, end to end flow. And please watch my next video to get the complete creation of allocation. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also watch my second part of allocation.